Welcome all you Pokemon fans, it's Hikaru the Poke Freak. So, I'm about to show you guys the greatest Wi-Fi match, maybe of all time. This match was crazy. First of all, look at his team lineup. He's got a... Uh, oh god, so many legendaries, so many legendaries. But you're gonna see that won't matter. I'm in a whole nother tier. Um, let's just get right to it. It it was tough. There was a lot of out predicting. And uh, he's from Korea. You know, I, I really don't sleep on anyone from a different country. They are all really good competitive battlers. So we're about to get into it. And you see my team. I got good old Mamo uh, leading off. And uh, let's get to it. Right now. <sighs> the problem at start one. First problem, right here. I couldn't set up my stealth rocks. So I'm like, I gotta get the hell out of there. I know he's gonna use a fighting type move. Um, so I brought in my Mistrevis and he goes for the flying press. So I'm like, good, I'm lucky. Now my thing is to get a burn on this thing, right? That'll lower its attack. But he switches out to Gudra. And I'm like, uh, he might have thought that I was trying to use Psychic or something. Cause uh, Gudra is specially defensive. But instead, he gets burned, so I'm like, well, this is kind of good, but I don't want to waste my uh, Mysterious yet to a Draco Meteor. So I switch in to my Excadrill, who's very, very specially defensive. And you're going to see, this is a Draco Meteor that's about to hit this Excadrill. And just watch me eat it up. Just watch. Bam, nothing. So, it doesn't do half. I know I can confidently live another one, so I'm thinking, alright, this is a good chance to set up my sor uh, Swords Dance. So, he withdraws his Gudra. That's fine by me. That's a free Swords Dance up, and it's whoever can switch into it. But it's weird, because he switched into Xerneas. I don't know why. I, I guess he forgot I thought I was a Steel-type or something, but whatever the heck, I know I can outspeed it, and I go straight for the Metal Claw uh, to take out this Xerneas. And you know what's crazy? Lucky for me, the one time I get lucky, I think in this match, I get the attack boost. So I'm plus three now, I'm light orbed, and yeah, I'm ready to take out anything else that gets brought in. I'm thinking this could be an Excadrill sweep. He brings in his uh, Swampert, and I'm like, alright, that's fine, you know, I'll just Earthquake, call it a day. So, Earthquake takes it out, I'm, I'm confident, I'm like, you know what, this is gonna be an Excadrill sweep, is what it looks like. Halucha's in there, I'm thinking, with the light that I have... I'm not going to get the Swords Boost or Swords Dance boost again in the match, so I might as well sack off my Excadrill because I know uh, I thought I outsped it, but I guess I don't. So that's Excadrill. I switch back into Mistrevis, knowing that I'm Eviolite, so I can take a hit. I'm going to go ahead and try to set up a Calm Mind, thinking he's going to predict the uh, burn again. But no, it was weird. He stayed in and he went for the uh, uh, flying move or whatever. I, I don't know what he was trying to do. But either way, now I know he's staying in and, uh, you know, playing mind games or whatever. I'm just going to go for the will o -Wisps to cut that attack. Uh, a burn Halucha is a useless Halucha. So, uh, he can stay in here or he can just die. And I guess he stayed in. He tried to get the poison jab off to poison me and to try to kill my Mistrevis. But I live it like a boss. I don't get poisoned. So, I guess that was the second time I got lucky, you know. Usually I'm not good with luck and Wi-Fi battles, which you'll see in the future. I've got some matches that are like, what the hell, this is bullshit. All right, so in comes Palkia. Um, I got plus one special defense, so I know I could probably take a special attack, but he forgot I have Levitate. He thought he could just Earth Power and call it a day. So I'm gonna go ahead for the will o -Wisp in case he has any other physical attacks. All right, now I'm not playing around here. I go straight for the Hex. I want this thing dead and gone, right? He does flamethrower. I'm like, ah, he's gonna get the burn or I'm gonna die. I live it. I go for the hex just to get this thing out of here, but it lived it. And I'm like, ah. I don't know if I can live another flamethrower, but that's my mystery is gone. One of my better, uh, one of the better MVPs of the game. All right, so with him out, I have to think, ah, uh, should I get the burn? I didn't get the burn, uh, death. So, I have to bring in Melodic and do a Protect on it. This should take out the Palkia. So, that's a good Legendary gone and dealt with. Let's try to use Spatial Rain to take me out. Ha! <laughs> so, that's done. 
I'm like, I, I think I got this. I, I got a couple more pokes in the bag. I, I think I got this. But this thing comes in. Oh my god. There's a reason why this thing is in Ubers. Alright? Now, my thing is, should I stay in and sack off my Pokemon or not? I should be able to tank a hit. But, no. I totally forgot something. These mofos carry Solar Beam. So I'm like, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Alright, but, as you can see, he also gets the crit too. Even if I were to live that, like, he got the crit, just to put salt in the wound. Alright. <sighs> Here we go. Pikachu comes in, I'm thinking I can outspeed it and go straight for the Grass Knot, since Grodon, Grodon, however you pronounce it, is the heaviest in the game, but no, it outspeeds my Pikachu. I'm like, I built it in attack and speed. There's no reason for it to have been outsped. So, what am I going to do? What to do, what to do, what to do? I go for Sceptile, and I'm like, Sceptile, Mega Sceptile should outspeed this guy. So, I Mega Evolve, and I'm like, go for the fastest, or the strongest uh, grass type in that I have, right? So I go for Leaf Storm, and I'm like, this has got to kill it. If it doesn't, I'm fucked. And what do you know? It didn't kill it. He goes for incinerate for some reason, and it didn't take me out, so I'm like, good, good. I can just withdraw it and then use my uh, Mega Sceptile later. Now, I have Mamoswine in here, and I'm like, if I live in attack, I'm Life Orb. I have the Ice Shard to just do a kill. And I live the attack, and I'm like, yes, this is perfect. Go straight for the Ice Shard, and what do you know? It lived. <sighs> Fucking... Fuck, you know? <laughs> so, <laughs> alright, here we go. How am I gonna kill this mofo? And still have Pokemon left over. So, I would... I, I, I had to sack my Mammoth Swan. Uh, I bring in Sceptile again, and I'm just like, you know what, screw it, don't take any chances. Just go for a Grass-type move, uh, even if it's not powerful. So I went for the Giga Drain, and it takes it out. Now, this is crazy, guys. Unfortunately, for me, this was my last Pokemon. So, it's like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? This thing probably has a special attack that can... I mean, it's Dragon as well, so I got to be able to kill this with this Dragon Pulse, right? And it lived. I'm like, I'm dead. Here comes Fire Blast. But it missed. Guys, it missed. Oh my god. I, I was, like, giving up hope when I saw that the Dragon Pulse, you know, uh, didn't kill it. But seeing that it avoided it, I was like, oh my god. Guys, you've got to give me a thumbs up on that one. Please like and subscribe. If you are not a subscriber. Now, also for my channel, I'm going to be doing a lot of random uh, Wi-Fi battles and Wi-Fi matches. I want you guys to give me some um, team combinations that you guys would like to see in there. And uh, I'm also going to be trading every now and then with you guys. We'll be doing live streams and all that. I'll be trading with you guys so that you guys can play. Uh, you can see your Pokemon on my screen. And then I can just trade you your Pokemon back. So that way your Pokemon gets a little uh, action into some of these Wi-Fi battles. I'm going to be also doing uh, roll uh, Pokemon roulettes. And uh, all sorts of good stuff is coming to the channel. So please stay tuned. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it. Show it to your friends. Akaru does it again. Epic match. Thanks, guys.